honestly speaking, to be in your midst today, to be the one not really like, but let me say, as part of the head of government, the executive, um, to see you launch your 2023-2024 legal year is really a privilege and I have to say that I feel very happy to be in your midst and to say that I wish you a successful legal year. <laughs> It's important to say a successful legal year. For the past one week or more, we've been hearing the negative stories. At least for once, let us hear something that is different from the bad news. So I feel happy. And I have to say that I'm even overjoyed that my guy is here with us. So I, wanna, I have to welcome you especially for coming to cheer us in this event. I wouldn't say much. I just request that everyone should continue to pray for us. It's been a trying time, but I know that this phase will pass. Yeah. And the promises we made to our people that will continue to give you development upon development, we are not going to go back on that. So I want to thank you for your support and also say that, please, we need peace. Everybody should just relax. We need peace. For us to progress in the state, we can only do that in an atmosphere of peace. Please. Let me thank the church for your prayer. I know that you have always been there for us. This is the time that we need more and more of this prayer. In the book of Ezra, you know the story of Zerubbabel liking our case to it. We have a mission to give you development. The devil will always come in one way or the other. But the important thing is for us to identify it and push the devil out of our room and continue. I have to say this with all amount of emphasis. My yoga remains my yoga. Whatever that has happened is past. I want us to continue to pray for the peace and development of this state. Please, I'm begging. I've not sent anybody to malign anybody. That is the truth. So I'm appealing to you, please, let's give peace a chance. Thank you, and God bless you all.